So Apollo has a library called Apollo Link State, and you can use this to store local data about your application in the Apollo cache. So what it allows you to do is with that single cache, you can store uh, remote data that you get from fetching from a GraphQL API, and then also this client state. And so what I mean by client state or local data is anything you don't want to store on a server or a database. So that might be a modal that you toggle on and off, a checkbox, or even like the network status. You want to see whether you're connected or not. So I'm a big fan of GraphQL. So you may be surprised that I don't really use Apollo link state. Now I'm going to go a few, a few reasons why I'm not a huge fan of some of their choices or the way it works, but you'll notice these are all really small things and they're not really that big of a deal breakers and they're really just small annoyances. But the main reason that I'm not using Apollo link state uh, is really, I don't feel it's as great of a state management library uh, compared with other ones or the other options we have available. And I feel like the GraphQL abstraction does, doesn't really work as well with client state. Um, uh, and I feel like there's other abstractions or other libraries that are just better at it than trying to fit GraphQL uh, and doing it like that. So to get in first off some of the reasons that are a little weird or that I don't like as much, the first one is doing type names on the different object types in uh, when you're storing it. I'm not a huge fan of that. And the whole just reading from the cache and writing from the cache kind of feels a little bit clunky when you use Apollo link state. I haven't used it a ton, so maybe it has to do with me not being as experienced with it. But I've done a few videos for, on it on Egghead and just spent, tried a little time to get used to it to see if I would like it. And I just never uh, really caught on with me and never really became intuitive or something that I really enjoyed using. And it just felt really boilerplate-ish to write resolvers for stuff or if I was just updating the cache uh, directly, it felt really weird as well. Um, so that whole part with kind of updating the cache and retrieving data from the cache felt a little weird. The other thing is the GraphQL queries. Having to type this out for client state feels a little bit weird. Um, I mean, I like it when I'm doing working with a, you know, a remote GraphQL API. But when I'm working with local client state, it feels a little weird to have to do that. So all those things are just kind of less optimal compared to other state management libraries. Though I will say there's one thing that I really do like about Apollo link state, and that is the ability to be able to fetch from local state and remote state. Because you have all this data in a single cache, and so I can just use a single query, and it's gonna get basically all the data that I need for a component, uh, whether that, that is from client, I need some client data, and I need some remote data, I can get all. So it's pretty nice to have them together, and it can refetch in sync, or if I need to update multiple, um, that is pretty nice. So that's like the one advantage, but so far, I haven't really come across a situation where this was a must, or that uh, I required this sort of advantage. Uh, so if I'm not using Apollo link state, what am I using? Uh, I'll usually use one of two things. One, uh, I still use Apollo, of course, to store and cache remote data, but for local state, I am using just the React state that comes with it. And then that's gonna cover like 80%, 90% of what I need. Um, and then the other 10%, I just kind of fill in with unstated is what I have been using, which is just a super simple state management library. Um, or I'm using the React context if I need just something to pass across multiple components and I want something kind of global and it doesn't make sense to just do React uh, state. And then the other thing is I'm gonna be checking out Mobx Mob soon um, and spending some more time with that because it looks very interesting to me. Um, but in my opinion, these state management libraries are just a little bit simpler and a little bit easier to use than Apollo link state. And I haven't really come across a situation of having two stores because I, that's basically what's happening when I do this is I'll have a store for my remote data and I have a store for my client data um, that I'm basically splitting up. So, so far I haven't come across a problem with splitting that up, um, but I could see myself using Apollo link state in the future if I come across a hard problem where I'm needing to have both the remote and client data in the same store. Um, and I can see that possibly using it for one-off cases like that. But in general, for my main client state, uh, things are handling of state. 
Uh, I'm not going to be using Apollo Link State right now or until it fixes some things or it gets on par with some of the other state management libraries. But I'd love to hear what you guys think about it and if you've had any experience with Apollo Link State, positive or negative. I'm curious uh, what your guys' thoughts are.